Welcome and good evening, Croeso Apananda. I'm Kerry Hooper, Head of Engineering at Crosskeys Campus, and I'm your presenter for this evening. With me, I have Matt Collins, who's Head of Creative and Technical Studies at Newport Campus, and he's your moderator for this, for this evening. Uh, that means that he's going to field any questions and queries that you have uh, for us throughout the presentation. Just a little note for you, we can't see or hear you. Um, but we can take your questions, so please feel free at any time to put them in the question bar and we will come to them as readily as we can throughout the presentation. Matt, would you like to say hello to the uh, attendees? Hello, yes, uh, Kerry introduced me just now. I'm Matt Collins. I'm the, the Head of Creative and Technical down at Newport. Um, you, you should see a, a question and answer bar over on, your, on the right hand side of your, your screen if you want to pop any questions in there. Uh, don't don't feel you have to wait till the end of the presentation to do that. You can just pop them in as you go along, uh, and I will uh, I'll try and field any questions as that as they're coming up. Okay, good to see you all here. Okay, so the aims of the event this afternoon uh, is to give you an overview of what we offer across our faculty, um, so across the engineering and motor vehicle faculty to give you a little bit of an outline of the entry requirements for the courses. So that's a bit of information about your GCSE grades, etc. that we'll expect for the different levels. A little bit of background about college life and, and what you can participate in when you become a learner with Collegrant. And most importantly, we are to answer any questions and queries that you've got about courses and to give you some information on how you can apply and where you can get some more information. Okay. So uh, if you like to use the chat bar to just say hello to us, uh, give us a, a wave or a thumbs up. Um, if you've been to a recent taster event at one of the campuses, please let us know where it was, what type of taster event you did, and if, and if you were enjoying that event. So we'd like to know who we've uh, got in the room. While we're doing that, I'm just going to check if Matt has had any feedback from the poll. Uh no, no, nothing from from this group now. We we did get one at the end of the uh, of of the last one who was who was looking for electrical in um, in cross keys. I think it was the one that um, that, that posted the question. Same same person. So feel free, anybody. Um, I have put the link up there on the um, on on the question and answer bar. If you want to just let us know a bit about yourselves, you can click on that link or just pop it in that um, question and answer bar and we can, we'll be able to see, just say hello if you like. Okay. okay so our engineering motor vehicle is delivered across Cross Keys, Newport uh, City Campus and Blind Grant Learning Zone, which is in Edgar Vale. So motor vehicle is at Cross Keys and Newport and then engineering is across all three campuses. Uh, we run motor vehicle courses from entry level three up to level three. And we offer that in electric vehicles, heavy goods vehicles, light vehicles, and also motorcycles. So a good variety of courses available for you there. We offer engineering courses level one to level five across our campuses as well. And they have mechanical and electrical routes and some combined. And they are available in craft routes. So that's hands-on routes for people who like to be in the workshop working with machines and also in more academic routes to give you access to higher education university or further study as well. Uh, at Blind Grant Learning Zone, we offer aeronautical and motorsport engineering at levels three, and we also offer an engineering VTEC at level two. So just to give you a bit of an idea of the kind of uh, GCSE entry requirements we're looking for for those. For our VTEC level three courses, we're looking for five A star to C grade GCSEs to include maths at a B grade. And we're looking for at level two, five A star to C grades to include maths at a C grade. For our craft routes at level two, we're looking for four D grades, including maths and math science. And for our level two, three craft route, we're looking for five C grades, again, to include maths and math science. For our motor vehicle courses at entry level three, there are no requirements. Um, so it doesn't matter if you leave school without any qualifications at all, there's always a course available to you with us. At level one, we're looking for four Ds, including maths. Our level two direct entry is 5A star C grades, including maths and science. 
And then at level three, we don't allow direct entry to motor vehicle level three. So obviously there's lots you need to learn with from a hands-on point of view um, at level two. So that is a progression route from there for you. For our level one engineering course, we're looking at four GCSEs at E-grade, including maths, English and science. But don't worry if um, I appreciate lots of you waiting for results um, and they might not be what you expect. So some of you will get lower results than you were expecting. And that's not a problem. You just need to come and speak to us in August and we will give you some advice and guidance to make sure that you get on the most suitable course for you. And likewise, some of you might get better grades than you were planning on getting. Um, and again, come back and speak to us and we'll make sure that you put on the, the right level course for you to make sure that you're challenged while you're in college. But as you can see, there's a really wide range of levels there that we offer. So um, there's good progression and it really is something that's available for, for everybody. Are there any questions about the levels or the types of courses that are on offer there, Matt? Yeah, we do have a question. Um, we, we've got, uh, just wanted to ask the question, what is the difference in terms of the electrical engineering courses? What's the difference between the enhanced and extended courses? OK, so the enhanced engineering programme is a programme that uh, covers an MVQ qualification called Performing Engineering Operations and it also covers a subsidiary BTEC. So you're getting really uh, good hands-on MBQ there, a BTEC, and there's also a placework element of 150 hours over the year. And the aim of that qualification by the end is to try and secure an apprenticeship. Um, the, in, the extended programme is um, meant to be a two-year programme that gives an extended BTEC qualification at the end, and that's much more of an academic route that would give you enough UCAS points to secure a place in university. So really, um, the Enhanced Engineering Programme is a route into the workplace um, as an apprentice and the Extended Diploma is a route into university, although you still can obviously gain employment at that point. Any further questions, Matt? Uh, there is. Uh, let me just let me just scan down a moment and get to it. Uh, so somebody said that they had went to a taster session at Cross Keys and saw a tutor um and um he also said it would involve mechanical as well as i need to know what course i need to apply for please um so is that a level two course it sounds like it would be so um level three is specific to mechanical and electrical routes the level two course we offer is a combined one so if you come and do a level two btec you'll um do mandatory units that are compulsory across the engineering programme. And then there'll be a selection of electrical and a selection of mechanical units there to give people an experience of both. And then when you progress on to level three, it enables you to decide which route you specifically want to go into. Any other yeah, questions? If I, if I can say that, that a lot of employers are, are really looking for that sort of multi-skilled um, yeah. crafts people as well. So I think, you know, it, it really gives you that good grounding. Yeah, absolutely. OK, um, like I said, on the programme is a workplace um, option, well, elements, and, and we do support and um, help students find that work placement. So it's not something you have to do by yourself, but obviously if you've got one lined up, then that's great. Um, and like I said, the main thing is to remember is don't worry if you don't get a grade that you're expecting because we're here to give support and guidance and just make sure that you get on the right course for you. And as you can see by the photos that are on the slides that are in front of you, you know, we really have some good resources and facilities across the college. So you can see, you know, the um, electric vehicles there that we have, the motorcycles across keys. You can see examples of some of the employer talks that we've had and obviously the plane and motor car that are up at Blind Grant Learning Zone for the uh, courses that are running up there. So lots of uh, lots of nice uh, environments to study in. So a little bit now about college life. So lots of extracurricular activities at College Gwent. So um, we have lots of different types of clubs and unions. We've got a student union, there's an LGBTQ uh, group, and we have societies for sort of Christians and lots of other um, uh, clubs for, for, for a range of backgrounds and interests. We regularly hold employer talks and take learners out on trips. And that's just to give you an experience of different workplaces, different environments, to help inform your career choices um, and obviously to give you that uh, experience and broadness to your studies. We also compete in world skills competitions. 
that's a really good opportunity for you to develop yourself as an individual um, and you know work at and push and progress yourself to a world level standard there as well in competitions. It's important point to note that when uh, students come to us, uh, if you met any of them come to us without having achieved all the GCSEs at A star to C. So it's a requirement when you come in that if you've got your maths and English at below a C grade that you study those alongside your course, which is a fantastic opportunity. because obviously it gives you a chance there to reset those exams and leave us with those qualifications at the end, which employers are looking for. You may also find that studying Welsh back or some employability skills alongside that course. And again, that's just to give you that really rounded education and to equip you with the skills that the employers uh, are looking for when you when you leave us and start your future careers. We also have some great facilities on campus. So obviously we've got canteens, we've got a Costa coffee shop, we've got a learning centre that's fully equipped with all the books and resources that you need. And it's also equipped with um, a number of uh, computers there. So you've got opportunities to go and work and study when you, you're not timetable to lessons in the day. And you've also got opportunity to use that around your college week if you don't have those facilities at home. Another good benefit of coming to join us as a student in College Rent is that we provide all of our students with a college account once enrolled and that gives you access to the full uh, Microsoft Office software and, a, and a, a, a large storage space as well on OneDrive. So if you don't have uh, those programmes at all, there's no cost there to you. You get those as a privilege of being our, one of our students. So a little bit about what you need to prepare for college. So um, obviously our courses are largely practical and very often based in workshops with um, around all of our equipment. So PPE is essential um, and, and lucky enough at the moment is something we supply for you as a student so there's no cost there for you. You also need some general stationery. So obviously pens, pencils, folders, etc. to keep your work really well organised. Although you're uh, coming very often to something that's quite practical now, there's still the need for online tests and assessments. So it's really important that you keep yourself organised with your work to ensure that you can revise and obviously prepare yourselves for those. Another thing that we ask, like I said, we are working in workshops, which we like to consider and treat as a work environment, like an employer would. It's really important that you come to us with a positive attitude, that you're ready to learn and that you're sensible and mature in that workshop environment. So obviously there's lots of equipment in there that would be in any other workplace. And it's really important that we keep you and others around you safe at that time. So uh, it's just a case of being prepared that things change from that compulsory education. You know, we're into a different phase um, in your lives. Now we like to treat you as adults and, and with that comes the maturity that we expect. Uh, it's bringing us to the end of our presentation now. So thanks for listening to us this evening. I'm just going to clear before we move on if there are any other questions there are there are a couple of questions mostly to do with the uh lecture. are going to remain on the questions but we will links into the chat to show you how to apply for uh just a second i i missed that then uh we've got to put some links in to show you how to apply as well and um we will be showing you uh where you can get some further information about our courses Sorry, Matt, was there a question? That's there? OK. I think we had some gremlins in the system just at that point there. There was, was a couple more questions about the electrical uh, EAPs mainly, um, about the sort of what what sort of companies and industries do we have links with for the um, for the EAPs and what sort of percentage of the EAPs go on to get sort of full time apprenticeships? OK, well, the programme aim is for us to hit 70 percent um, of those EAPs going into employment and we meet their aim requirement annually. Um, we work with a, a huge range of companies all across of Gwent and we try and do that based on geography linked to where um, obviously you live so we minimise the travel for you. We do have some large employers that we work with such as Tata Steel, BAE Systems, Goss Engineering just to name a few quickly um, but we also work with lots of small ones as well in the local area so it really is a good um, a good way to get into an apprenticeship and lots of employers actually come to us to recruit next year so very often we get adverts direct for them that wouldn't necessarily be on careers wales website any other questions 
None at the moment, but we'll stay we'll stay on here with our microphones muted for now. And if anybody wants to post any further questions in that Q and A, then we will uh, we'll happily sort of deal with them. Okay, I'm going to turn my camera and my microphone off now, and then I'm going to play you a short video just to show you a little bit of insight into our department. So please stay on and watch that. And like I said, ask any questions, and we will be putting some useful links into the chat. So. Um, is with hanging around for those. But thank you for listening and we look forward to seeing you at some time soon um, on a course in September. Thanks everyone.